Hello, my name is Major Bill Cox. My wife, who is Major Betsy Cox, and I have been here for three and a half years and serving as your core officers for the Duluth area. We want to tell you that the Salvation Army is more than just the Red Kettle and more than rookie basketball. The Salvation Army is also a church. We meet every Sunday from from about 10 o'clock till 12 o'clock for Christian education and worship services and have Bible studies throughout the week. We also are a social service outs program. We have social services for all, all ages and all groups. We just uh, have a regular, we have our emergency services program, which free, it has a, uh, emergency assistance like a month's rent or utility expense. We have a food, ki food soup kitchen. We have a uh, food shelf. We have uh, transitional housing for a two-year program for men and women uh, families who are looking for a place to stay to get on their feet for, over a, for a two-year period. We have a rapid rehousing, getting people who are um, homeless into their own home and having um, supportive assistance as far as casework for a year or two. We also have with us um, our um, homeless prevention, which is a program that helps those who are about to be evicted and to secure and keep make, maintain the home that they live in. We see the need of a healthy home life and a home family. Kids learn better in a home with stability, and so we see this as critical. We also have nursing home visitation. We do nursing home visitation and programs throughout the um, Duluth area. We also have with us um, our, our own youth programs that start on every Wednesday. For It's like similar to scouting programs, um, but it's the Salvation Army programs called Sunbeams and Guards and Venture Corps. We have started a recently a Salvation Army brass band uh, that meets on, on uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays sometimes. And uh, we also have a drum corps that we work with young people in, in, uh, in many ways. We have summer camps throughout the uh, summer for the various ages. And the idea is the Salvation Army wants to minister to the whole person, spiritual, physical, emotional, soul, that uh, we might be able to help somebody and encourage someone along the way. We thank you for being here and supporting Rookie Basketball, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the days ahead. Hands up. Hey, 
Straight up. 
White ball, fellas. White ball going down. Everything all right? Let's go, pass it in. Everything all right? Yeah, so we got it. Spread out! Spread out by the blue, hands up! Pass it, 
That guy came back, he said there's a black Volkswagen now SUV. When they do the next switch, will you yell it?
Basketball has, uh, has a touch of, of everything that we do because, quite frankly, it ministers to the whole person. Uh, I think the most important thing is that rookie basketball contributes to our young people is character, and that they, they would help them to define integrity, teamwork, fellowship, cooperation. The, if that happens, then we've helped produce some positive adults for the future, future generation. Probably the, the biggest thing that is that of discipline, learning the, the, the discipline of life. If you want to succeed, you have to work at it, and, uh, and you have to have that discipline to, to keep plugging along even when things aren't going your way. I probably uh, seen that, that when uh, not too long ago watch, witnessing a, a team uh, who hadn't had a great record uh, of, of success. Um, finish the game and uh, have the parents applaud and, 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 and congratulate them, feeling them walk, see them walk off the court holding their head up. And they lost, but they actually won because their character was defined and is being defined as, as more than just winning and, and losing the basketball. It's about being a person. When you go watch former RBA players, my expectation is that you would see character, that they would see discipline that they'd see uh, positive sportsmanship. And, uh, and if they can glean that and learn that themselves, then they could be examples for the future generation. Some of the marks of excellence that I, th I hope they would see in, in uh, former rookie basketball players would be that of, uh, of uh, love, of acceptance, of uh, patience, of discipline. Um, self-control, um, a joy, winning or losing. Uh, those are things that I hope that will be the defining moments for the kids when they look at former basketball, rookie basketball players. I think that when our kids graduate from rookie basketball, I'm hoping they're going to um, leave with a better understanding of the game better understanding of working together with other people. They're going to have a better understanding of what, um, what success really means. And I hope and pray that that will happen for every rookie basketball graduate. I, I would like to th thank the 43 coaches this year who have helped rookie basketball uh, to be successful. You make a difference. Um, I have uh, th three of my seven children are today are very successful in life and I'm going to tell you quite honestly uh, not only did the game help define them but the coaches helped define them um, and uh, now my oldest son is is a coach he coaches on uh, a running club on his own and uh, and he learns a lot of stuff a lot of good stuff from his his coaches and he's just sharing that talent with others so thank you very much. You have an opportunity to make a difference in a kid's life.